Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, I'm at a different place than Jimmy's, Micah's, my garage, or Kyle's. We're at my friend John's place. Um, as you saw in previous videos, we were machining a small block Chrysler. Originally started off as a 5.2 Magnum. Uh, John's got a 94 Jeep Grand Cherokee that he's redoing, making like an overland vehicle. And he talked to Jimmy and I, wanting an engine done. Well, Jimmy and I did all the machining, but John wants to learn how to build an engine. And you know what, guys? Learning is always fun. And John, he likes to learn all this. He's new to the engine side. He's done a lot of other work, especially on the Jeeps. He's already built the rear end, the axles, all that fun stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a multi-part series on Project Magnum CI. Get it? Like Magnum PI, but Magnum cubic inch. Yep. Pretty cheesy, but you know what? It's going to be fun. Uh, factory bore on this was 3.91 with a stroke of 3.33, or 3.31, which is 318 cubes. Uh, we took this 30 over, so it's a 3.94 bore, and it's a factory stroke crank of 3.31. However, it's an Eagle forged piece along with Eagle forged rods, all that. We'll go over that in detail as we build it. All high-end equipment. So this is going to be a 323 cubic inch magnum v8 engine and it's going to be a whole lot of fun uh, this video what we're going to do is we're actually going to install the crank check the clearances get everything torqued down and set the thrust with that i want to introduce you to john he's been behind the camera a lot yep. he's got a bunch of cool camera equipment but john what do you think i'm just excited to start getting this thing put together um been doing a lot of work on other parts of the jeep got other things already finished and ready to go so getting the engine um, buttoned up put together and then we can throw it in the jeep and get this thing moving on the road again it's going to be a lot of fun but as you saw in other videos it's been machined it's been honed it's been surfaced it's been hot tank john spent some time taping stuff off getting it painted i'm rambling we really need to get to work so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this thing in there we're going to check clearances get it torqued down set thrust and with that, guys, that'll be the first step of Project Magnum CI. All right, let's do it. Alright, so that first step what we did is we put the bearings in, the main bearings on the bottom, uh, lubed them up with Clevite Lube Guard. Uh, on this step now, we are going to go in and plastic gauge everything, uh, but if you noticed, we didn't turn the crankshaft and it's dry on here because you have to put plastic gauge on each main with nothing on it. John went in and cleaned the crankshaft. So the bottom's lubed up, the top's not. What he's doing right now is he's cleaning the main caps one more time to make sure there's nothing on there. And at the same time as he's doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ARP fastener assembly lubricant and I'm going to lube up each one of these threads. Now you see on the washers that it comes with, it is beveled. Always make sure the bevel goes towards the top of the head. And what I like to do is when we assemble these, I put oil between the top of the head and this. It really does help out. It's just another little tip. So what we're going to do is we are going to check everything, clean it, get it ready to go for final torque sequence. Um, now, ARP always does come with instructions on what the foot pounds of torque that needs to go down to. And another good thing they do on that, it actually tells you each step. It's never just one step at 110. It's always three steps. Always follow the manufacturer spec on that. So, yeah, while John's doing that, I'm going to get these all lubed up. See you in a few.
All right, so what we did is we laid a piece of plastic gauge on each main and went ahead and put the main caps on, torqued them down in sequence, as a ARP said. Um, so what we're doing, just letting it sit for a minute, and then from there what we're going to do is we're going to pop all these rod caps off, sorry, main caps off, and we will check the clearance, and we will write all that down, see where it's at, and then we can put it all back together for the second time and call it good. Um, we are going to show how to set the thrust on this per uh, manufacturer spec. And from there, guys, that will be installing the crank and setting the thrust. See in a few. All right, so we're at a point now with the main caps on and just hand tight where we're gonna set the thrust on this, um, which is on number three. Uh, clearance between that is, uh, or tolerance I should say, is two to seven thousandths. So what you do is you take a screwdriver in the back and what you're gonna do is you're gonna push forward on this. In some cases you're gonna have to go back, but we're gonna see on each side of that if we have proper clearance. So I'm just gonna go in a little bit with this and pry a little bit and john's going to check to see where we're at so the front we've got that side we've got four okay as we come over to this side we're closer we're more like going to have three okay try the back side so the back side on that side we've we've got four we're good there and on this side we would have to go down to three Okay, so try it now. On the front or the back? Try the front. We got four. We got four on this side and going down to around the side, we're good. And then here, we do not have four. We would. Well, we still got to torque it down. Yeah. So what do we got on the back? Back. We've got four here. So we got four? Until we get to about the middle. And then we lose it. Okay. Well, okay. Try that again. Right. Just go right on the top here and here. We've got three on this side and we've got two and a half on this on okay the back. let me go a little bit more try that put a try the four so we've got four four on the front we do not have four so on the back. Try three in the back. And nope. Okay. Go down. Okay. Okay. So, if you want to do it one more time, I can try the two. Okay. We've got two on the back. Okay, so I'm going to just push forward. Put your four. Put your four in the front. Okay. And I'm going to set that at four. 
and leave the screwdriver in. Oh boy, I should have left all of them out. There's the four. Make sure I've only got a four and not a five. We don't want nine thousandths. Okay, push forward. All right. Um, just put it in and leave it. Okay. Push forward. Okay. All right. Okay. That's where I got it set. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the screwdriver in because that's where a thrust is set. We can actually take that out now because I know that's right on the four. And now what we're going to do is do our first torque sequence and we can remove the screwdriver. So our thrust is set. So we're going to get working on that now. First torque sequence, 35 thousandths or 35 foot pounds. All right, so we got everything torqued down uh, in sequence per ARP instructions. Everything is 110 foot pounds. Um, what I do, here's a little tip for you guys um, when building these engines. Most of the time we're not building these all in one day, it's over a period of time. So when I get done, so I know these have been torqued down. It's a visual reminder for me. I go through with a little bit of acetone and I wipe off the main bolts and I take a Sharpie, just a silver one like this, and I'm going to make an X on each one. So when I'm finishing buttoning up the bottom end of this engine, I'm not going to sit there and go, man, did I torque those down? I know you can go back and check and we will check it again. But yeah, it's a little bit of a visual reminder that, hey, these have all been torqued down. Mark them, silver ink marker, ain't going to hurt nothing. 99 cents, you know. It's just a good visual reminder. We all get older, all forget things, helps out. That's my tip for this video. See you in a few. Well, that's a wrap for Project Magnum CI. Video is pretty straightforward, guys. We installed the crankshaft, we checked the clearances. Of course, we recorded all that, documenting everything. Everything we do, we're going to write down the numbers on that. You just never know when you're going to need that. Went through. We set the thrust on this. Yeah, that's that's actually it. Um, it takes, I don't know, to do it right the way we do it. It's a couple hours worth of work. Um, John did spend quite a bit of money on this kit, so we want to make sure everything is right. Everything is lubed properly. As you saw, we used ARP fasteners with the ARP fastener lube, uh, Clevite bearing guard, um, and all that fun stuff. You saw she's a little bit of motor oil for the the caps, the caps and the uh, washers. And what I did there is I went through and I just squirted a little oil and everything where it has turned it once more and just to make sure it's lubricated. Um, the test on this, you know what? You're gonna drag this with your finger like that slowly. I'm just going fast right now. And you're gonna see if it has any drag anywhere, any tight spots. This thing spins very, very nicely. With that, I'm gonna hand it off to John. This is his project. And uh, what do you think, John? So I think it went really well. Um, like you said, the most difficult part is just the on and off to check things. Yep. Not bad. Um, like Jeff mentioned, we're taking a lot of notes. We're noting all of our um, measurements, end play, thrust, everything. We've got all of that in a notebook. We're also using multiple reference materials. So we've got factory service manuals, aftermarket service manuals, manufacturer specs for all of this. So. We're uh, cross-referencing all of our stuff, noting everything, being very thorough, and it's going great so far. So excited yep. to get on to the next step. Yep, next step is going to be installing the pistons in this. Uh, but if you notice in this video, it seems like you're seeing everything twice. We're actually filming two different angles, so you get to see it from two different angles. Uh, it's kind of a neat thing. John's really big into tech. I kind of am. I need to get a little bit better with it. But yeah, <laughs> but that's what it is, guys. All the clearances checked out great. Um, the thing is, is I used to know the Mopar world by hand, but Jimmy has indoctrinated me in the world of Chevy. 
So it's kind of nice getting back in the world of Mopars because I really like Mopars. So with that, guys, we're going to see in the next one of Project Magnum CI. And what we're going to be doing is putting the pistons in this thing. See you yep. soon.